Hello, this is Antonio from Holy Lamb Media Entertainment, and I'm here today to talk to you about black people don't value themselves. What I mean by that is stop valuing the things of the past and value some things from the present. Now, things you can do to be proud of yourself. Don't litter in your community. You see some trash, pick it up. Pull your pants up. Don't sag. And while we're talking about sagging, What's the fascination with it? I don't get it. You wanna walk, go around walking like a duck? You know, you see the guys holding their belt buckle, walking around like a duck? What's so cool about that? That ain't hype. And stop using the N word. You know what I'm talking about. Not nigger, but the one that ends with an A. With sagging still backwards. You don't believe me? I'll post it. And don't become an urban terrorist. I don't see the fascination of becoming a gang member. I just don't see it. I see being proud of the neighborhood you grew up in. If you want to call it your hood, it might be nice to own an actual home on that hood or in that hood. On that block. You rent it from the white man. Talking about the white man holding you down, but you renting from the white man. Own those homes in that community. They may you be really want to protect your hood from criminal activity of others and yourself. Now, I would like to get you to write down three things that you're proud about are valued in your black community or the black community as a whole. Now me, I decided to write down three things that I like about my black community, the things I value. One is right behind me, known as uh, North Star. Um, it's a large educational facility for boys, fifth grade to eighth grade. They learn engineering, you know, they give them tutoring, robotics, all those things that uh, will be valued to them going into the future. It's a great place. They get mentored and things like that there. Second is Hope Center. And I mentor there a few times. It's a great place. They have a skating rink, a studio, you know, pool tables, things like that. They work on things such as education, employability, like when they teach them how to dress for an interview, how to talk at an interview, how to do a resume. So when these young kids go to look for a job, whether they be 18, getting out of high school, or while they're 16, 17, they have these skills to walk in the door and feel confident about getting a job. They also collaborate with other cities to empower youth uh, centers around the country. I found that very inspiring. And fourth is faith. Yes, this is a Christian organization, and I can align myself with that, even if it wasn't faith, based, it will still be a great facility. Uh, third is called 100 Black Men of Omaha. It's 100 black men in the Omaha, Nebraska area who have several programs they implement throughout the city to mentor through their leadership and mentoring academy. They also have a program called Pathway to Success. Another one is 100 Saturday Academy. I'm loving the fact that more and more black men in my community, Omaha, Nebraska, are stepping up and saying, no, we will not take this. We want less violence. We want more education. We want to build our own business. I'm starting to see that and connecting with those people. And we need all the help we can get here, right here in Omaha area. People say, oh, you live in Omaha? Ain't no black community there. Why are you front? Actually, in 2011, we had the highest murder rate per percentage, I, I think we'll say. Let me give a figure. 34.43 out of 100,000. A lot of murders. What I Googled was the black community in Omaha, Nebraska. When I did that, I got a whole list of articles about murders. 
how dangerous Omaha, Nebraska is. And I can attest to that. Uh, there have been a rash of murders um, last weekend. We retaliation. A guy got shot in the back of the head as he was pumping the air in his tires. So there was a retaliation, things going back and forth, other things going on, uh, unrelated murders, shootings. There's always some shootings, not everybody dies. But yeah, I like to see less violence. So anything we can do to encourage the men of now, of the present, and of the future by getting with these young people now and talking to them, they don't know. You don't want to be a urban terrorist, whether you're affiliated with a gang or not. So it's a sad state of affair when we value the things of the past and not the things of the present. I understand, I love hearing about Egypt, but why just Egypt when we talk about black empires? We don't talk about Great Zimbabwe or the other ones around the continent of Africa. Egypt here, right on the northeast of the continent. There's all this no one wants to talk about. The great ethnic cultures of Africa, the most diverse amount of ethnic we don't want to talk about those. We just want to focus on Egypt. I love Egypt. I be love it. Hope camp. I just love it. You gotta stop just loving one part of the continent and love it. Love all the countries of the continent. Start learning about the cultures of these different countries or the countries of old that are now like um, Kenya is now 53. Excuse me, 57 years of independence. So there's a lot of great countries. You got something to say? You disagree with me or agree with me? Leave comments below. Leave comments below, please. I would love to discuss this with you. And as always, y'all.